think people are wrong when they say that Lamborghini is no longer Italian, that without it the inspiration of the past has gone, and it's not only a matter of words or national flags, it's about ideas. <laughs> And you know, when ideas need simple words to describe them, well, usually there are good ideas, and Anna seems to be one of them. For starters, disactive aerodynamics by Lamborghini, Aerodinamica Lamborghini Attiva, that's what ALA stands for, surely has had a big role in achieving the lap time of 6 minutes 52.01 at the Nürburgring, the new record for production cars. Here is how it works. Basically, there are two settings which can be chosen automatically by the electronic brain which controls all the vehicle dynamics. There is a low downforce setting and a high downforce setting and there are two areas involved in the process. At the front, on the spoiler, and literally inside the rear wing. Talking about the front splitter, there is a flap, a sort of valve, that when it's closed, lets the air flow above and underneath, generating a high downforce at the front wheels, and also a high level of drag. When you open the flap, the air goes underneath the vehicle, reducing both downforce and drag. For the rear wing, the flaps are in two channels that are taking airflow from ahead and redirecting toward the wing, passing through the pillars, which are hollow. When the flap is closed, you can have clean air along the wing, above and below, having the flow connecting to the wing and so producing downforce but also a lot of drag. However, when you open the valves, the air goes through the pillars and bleeds out to the bottom edge of the wing, interfering the air along the wing and generating turbulence and therefore making the wing too stall, as you don't want to happen to the wing of the aircraft. This is how you reduce both downforce and drag. So, on the braking, the system is off and both valves are closed, maximizing downforce at the front and at the rear. In the straights, when you want to go as fast as possible, the ALA system turns on and both the flaps open, reducing drag and making the car more slippery and quicker. But there's more. You can change the downforce across the wing and so in the corner you can put more downforce on the rear inside wheel, which has got less weight on it, and at the same time you can reduce drag on the other side so that the car starts a rotation, which is something that race drivers like a lot. And in the corner entries this improves speed, reduces steering angle and so reduces understeer and slip angle on the tires. This is why Lamborghini calls all of this aero vectoring, a kind of third way to help a car make a corner after brake vectoring and torque vectoring. <laughs> How does all this stuff feel like when you are out on a circuit? Here we are at Himola, a very challenging track with very high speed corners and so we should experience what is all about this active aerodynamic system, especially here on the straight when the system should let me increase speed. We are. 270 kph and we should break here Following the pace car, a standard all-wheel drive Huracan, the big difference you feel is the instant way you can change direction. A really good sensation of lateral stiffness at the roll level, also because springs, dampers and anti-roll bars are stiffer. The feedback at high speeds is inspiring, even if I still don't completely trust the variable dynamic steering. Good brakes though, really nice pedal. And a nice sense of agility and adjustability too, due to a weight reduction of 40 kilos thanks to the forged carbon composite materials developed through the years by by the Ad Personam Bespoke Department and also thanks to the titanium exhaust system. The V10 5.2 liters engine has titanium too and therefore more power and torque. 640 bhp and 600 newton meters for a top speed of 325 kph, 2.9 seconds from 0 to 100, 8.9 seconds from 0 to 200, and a 31 meter stopping distance from 100 kph. Prices start from 193,000 euros before taxes, almost 240,000 euros in Italy. This is how Lamborghini is going after the Ferrari 458 Speciale, the McLaren 675 LT, and the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. And it's an exciting answer because 
The Yala system is a clever idea and a technology that works without spoiling the driving experience. Even on a car so focused on performances and Nürburgring lap time records, which is always good news. Thank <laughs> you.